Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing details. Today, we are discussing the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Date 8. This is the reference 118135 in Everose Red Gold, 36 millimeters in diameter. It's 12.4 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, 43.2 millimeters, with a 20 millimeter spacing in between the lugs. We'll throw this watch on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference. You can see it fits well, though I have to pull it relatively tight until the strap breaks in and becomes softer. You can see that the watch is not ultra thin, but thin enough to fit underneath a dress cuff or a tight sleeve. And once the strap loosens up a little bit, it's gonna easily fit in board of each side of my wrist. And you can see from over the top, the lugs are nowhere near the edge of my wrist. So I believe this is a watch for men and women, and it'll wear on a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. Straps on Rolex watches are not all that common. It's something we are not conditioned to expect in a world of GMTs, Daytonas, and Submariners. But traditionally, the Day Date, and to an extent, the Day Just as well, occasionally delivered with straps to give a little bit more of a formal aesthetic. We have medium rectangular scale alligator leather and a medium brown. There is some stuffing or bolstering to give it volume. We have a folded edge, a monotone stitch, calfskin on the bottom. You can see it's a brand new Rolex factory strap and it's paired with a Rolex factory Everose red gold deployant clasp, which is friction fit. Now the watch uses Everose. Rolex has its own foundry, it makes its own alloys. Everose has more platinum to make it resistant to fading, and also more copper to make it rosier, so it is ever rosy. And it would be appropriate to compare this to 5N red gold. Taking a quick look at the case, you can see that it has a uh, screw down crown. It's a twin lock in gold, you know, because it has two dots on it. We have a screwed in oyster case back. Put the watch on a water resistant strap. It is 100 meters water resistant. You could absolutely swim with this. You can see that these strap clad date justs and date dates feature an insert that sits under the bezel and prevents a big yawning gap between the case flank and the spring bar. So that aids in the appearance of integration. Everything's polished. We have a faceted fluted bezel to remind you that this is precious metal, and a radial satin sunburst grain on a silver dial. Outboard, there's a railroad track with stylized Roman numerals. Then we have applied rose gold hour indices, which are loomed. We also have a rose gold Rolex crown and rose gold baton style hands. Doing a quick loom shot here, you can see this is pre-chromolite. It's still super luminova in green. And it is a double quick set era day date, and I'll show you what that means. It means you have a quick set for rapidly cycling the date, but then also cycling the day. And of course, pull the crown out all the way, you activate hacking or stop seconds. You can set the watch against a reference time. Underneath the case back, bi-directional automatic winding, Rolex manufactured caliber 3155, 48 hour power reserve, double quick set with hacking, four hertz beat rate, 31 pivot joules, a COSC certified Swiss chronometer adjusted in five positions. And truth be told, all Rolex watches are adjusted to beat those tolerances as fully assembled watches before they leave the factory. And they have since long long before the so-called superlative chronometer standard was implemented in 2015. The movement has a Breguet overcoil hairspring that allows it to keep consistent time in any physical position with gravity playing less of a role due to the overcoil. The hairspring is made of blue oxidized niobium zirconium. Rolex calls that parachrome blue. It is highly anti-magnetic and the watch is rendered more shock resistant by the presence of a full balance bridge anchored on both sides and a free sprung balance with micro Stella adjustment nuts to allow for a fine tuning of the timing of the watch. If you love this watch, reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.